let's create some text animation just like Apple. Firstly, add a text plus in the timeline and make it 16 frames long. After that, change its font and size. Now duplicate this text layer multiple times. Make third text 18 frames long and fourth text 20 frames long. Now type the words as you want in each of them. It will look like this. Now for first text, add adjustment clip just over that text layer. Now in that adjustment clip, add an invert from the effects. It will invert the color of our footage. Now open the text layer in Fusion page. Right click on the text area and add the follower. Now go to modifiers and transform and change the transform from character to words. Now go to size Y and add a keyframe in first and sixth frame. Now in first frame, bring Y all the way down to zero. Go to timing and bring the delay to one. It will make our full text visible in 12th frame 6 for one word and 6 for other. Now go to tools and in settings add a motion blur like 4. It will look like this. Now in fusion add a keyframe in 12th frame and in layout, add a keyframe in center. Do the same in last frame and bring Y down to 0 0.48. Now for second text, Go to Fusion and in Layout Center, add a keyframe on first and third frame. In first frame, bring center Y to 0.48 so that it matches the previous text moment. And add a motion blur to this too. Check the outcome. Now for third text, go to Fusion and add a follower to it. And go to modifiers, transform, and on first frame, add a keyframe on offset. Now go to fourth frame and add a keyframe on offset again. Now at first frame, bring offset x value to negative 0.02. Now increase the delay in timing. Now the animation feels shorter, so for that, instead of frame 4, I will add keyframe in frame 6. Now at 8th frame, insert character level styling. Select the text. Add a keyframe on 8th and 11th frame. Now at 11th frame, bring the shear to negative 0.16. Instead of 11th frame, add that keyframe in 12th frame so that animation will be a bit longer. Now insert a character level styling again. Now select the text and add a keyframe at 8th and 12th frame again.
at 12 frame, change the color to green in shading. Now lastly, for this text, go to Spline in Fusion and select all of the line and click S to smooth the curves. It will look like this. Now for last text, go to Fusion and add a follower. Go to Modifiers, and in Transform, add a keyframe at Offset on 1st and 6th frame. Now at 1st frame, bring Offset Y to 0.018. Now in Timing, increase the delay to 0.48. Now try every order and choose whichever you like. I will choose outside in. Now go to Spline Fusion and select all lines and click S to smooth the curve. It will look like this. Now we'll add the curve in the bottom of the text. For that, go to Fusion and add a background in between. Connect Polygon to the background and change the background color. Now make a line where you want and increase the border width. Adjust it properly. Adjust the position. Now add a keyframe at 11th and 16th frame. In 11th frame, bring the length to zero. You will see one dot for that, add a keyframe in one frame forward and brings level to zero. In 16th frame, bring the length to one. Now at last, go to spline, select the polygon only and click S to smooth the curves. Also increase soft edge if you like. 